Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I hope you're excited about this video about tables in queue because this is our last data structure that's left to cover. Previously, we have introduced you to lists, dictionaries, and now it is time to discuss tables. This video will also be split into two parts. In this part, we will discuss what tables are, how to create them, how they're structured under the hood, and some basic operations you can perform on them. So let's begin with a quick recap from our previous video, Introduction to Dictionaries in Q Part 2. Towards the end of that video, we showed you how column dictionaries can be flipped to create tables. The key takeaway was that tables are flipped column dictionaries. Make sure you remember that. This is very, very important to really understand how tables are created. So what are Q tables, really? Tables are first-class citizens in Q, which means just like lists and dictionaries, they live in memory. They're a collection of named columns implemented as a dictionary. This makes them column-oriented as opposed to row-oriented as relational databases are. Additionally, because lists are ordered in Q, this also makes columns ordered, which is different from relational, da relational databases where rows are not ordered. This combination of having ordered data in columnar format makes KDB tables extremely powerful when it comes to storing, retrieving, and computing sequential data such as time search data. So how do you create a table? We saw earlier that you can create a table by creating a column dictionary and flipping it. Let's take a look at that again. So here we have a very simple dictionary with keys, sim, price, size, and here are the values. Let's take a look at what that looks like. There you go. So you'll remember this from our previous video as well. If you flip this dictionary uh, and assign it to T and take a look at what that looks like, you'll see that now once we flip it, we get a uh, table. To be sure, let's look up the type of that variable. Uh, the This table has a type 98, which is correct. Uh, this is what tables always have. Dictionaries are type 99 and tables are 98. So remember that as well. So we have confirmed that our dictionary, which is type 99, is now uh, type 98, which is a table. While it is perfectly normal to create tables this way, there's a more standard and easier way to do as well. Here's how you can create a table. This is a, what a normal syntax for creating a table looks like. You can ignore the brackets for now. We'll cover that later. But basically, <clears throat> you... In, in parentheses, you enclose uh, the name of the column, colon, and then the values. And then you separate each column by semicolons. So here we have the name and values for the column sim. Here we have name and values for column price. And similarly, here we have name and column for uh, name, name and values for column size. Let's take a look at what that looks like, and you'll see it looks exactly the same as our previous table. Now, if we were to look up the type of that, we'll get 98 again. So we confirm that this is a table, and if we check for equality be uh, between the two tables, T and TRD, uh, we can see that they're exactly the same. Now, keep in mind that the, the values must be lists of equal count or be scalars. So you saw here that we had uh, three items here for each each column. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. If we didn't have them same, if we if one of those columns had only two items, uh, then we would get a length error. So that's a requirement that you got to have same uh, number of items in there. Now, what's interesting is that when a scalar is provided, Q is smart enough to use that scalar for all the rows. So instead of having two values there, now if you were to just provide one value, that will not throw an error. And that's because Q uh, assigns that one scalar value to all the rows. So all the rows here have a size of 10 now. Keep that in mind, That's uh, that can be a little tricky. There are two ways to see list of all available tables in your environment. If you do slash A, you can get a list of tables. So for for the time being, we have only two tables assigned, defined in our environment, TRD and T, and that's what we get. You can, there's another way to do it is tables and uh, backtick, 
and that will give you the same result. To retrieve columns of a table, you can use the keyword calls, C-O-L-S. So C-O-L-S and then the name of the table will return a list of column names. To get more information about a specific table, we can look at its metadata using the meta keyword. So here you go meta and then the name of the table, and it returns a key table which we'll discuss in another video. So the meta provides you with important information about each column. Here C represents the column name, T represents type, F represents foreign key, and A represents attributes. If you look at the T column, you can see that it shows what type of data each column contains. So the sim contains symbols, and price and size contain longs. If the type is shown in uppercase, which in this case it's not, it's lowercase, but if it was in uppercase, it means that column is a compound list. Uh, and we can see that example here where we're just modifying our existing dictionary uh, where the prices are um, made up of, of a compound list. So it looks like it, like this. So instead of having a scalar here for Apple, we have a list. Now, if you were to do meta on that, that will give you the type in an uppercase. So keep that in mind. As for foreign key, it shows which table contains the foreign key. Uh, our current table does not have any foreign key, so there's nothing to show here. Finally, the last column, A represents attributes. We'll cover this in more detail in another tutorial because it's a very important topic and requires more time. So that's all we have for this video. We'll continue our discussion on tables in Q in our second part where we'll discuss how to perform basic operations such as select, update, and insert data in a queue table. As always, let us know if you have any questions or feedback by leaving us a comment or 